Hello, hello guys. This is Alexander Matthew from Madskin Studios. I am the CTO of the company and I want today to show you our latest uh, updates for Glue Engine. The first one is the user interface that is brand new, easy to use for professional and non-professional users user interface. We are basically categorized all our functions of our engine and you can see map new map load mass save map object properties to scale move and rotate and here are all the tools that you need to make the actual game such as light point light spotlight audio glue script that we will include it along with visual glue graph so if you don't want to program you will not program it's not basically a problem uh, scene properties where you can adjust the water, the rain, the snow, the fire, the sky, the set time of day. In fact, we we can set I don't know like 18. Yeah, let's uh, make a custom level, import some models, and uh, compile the level, and let's see how it looks. For now, the graphics are not fully made, so. Um, very fast we are working on that so there are no, no normal mapping uh, actions right now but we will have parallax occlusion mapping for walls for basically all the textures that you want it will look gorgeous let's drag here so you see we have an, uh, a placement axis that uh, you can position the, the actual object very easy and this from the middle with the red that continues to the end is for rotation so let's say uh, by rotating the object from uh, the keys Q and E uh, you want to see if it's uh, on the 90 degrees rotation and you want to see where, uh, how's the rotation axis and you can see here from the middle if it's straight or not this is the best way that uh, we can uh, program that and also it follows along the object basically so even if you are up and down let's say you are mm, up a hill and you want to position your object to multiply to multiply the object you must press space key and the object will be automatically um, cloned and you can instantly reposition the object so you are you are not supposed to click and select the object and then go through some menus and blah, stuff like that but if you want to uh, just basically select the object and move around with it you can you can press the control key the wireframe of the object will be uh, shown and you just uh, left click to select it and you are ready to go to basically move it rotate it so if you want to uh, eliminate the step by step rotation you can eliminate that from the main menu so the object will move absolutely freely without any problems if you want to compile the game we go to tools actors and player start this will place in the scene uh, a player start and the rotation of the player so in our case it's right through the horizon and we can change the game modes instantly uh, right now we have FPS first person shooter and uh, MMO but we will add racing mobile and much more but for now let's stick with uh, memo mmo sorry i'm using my romanian accent uh, let's compile the level so you see loading we have the cursor with a sword that uh, you can click on the object or uh, click in the scene on the objects to perform quests and I don't know, we will see. We will have uh, a quest creator for this type of game and in order for you to create the actual quest with questions and uh, missions and all, all that kind of stuff. Kinds of stuff, sorry. Uh, 
by default uh, you will have a character that will move, will um, attack and talk and something like this and this basic cursor that you will basically modify with a finger or I don't know your ideas, your game so by pressing the escape we go back to the editor we can do a fly mode and if you want to create a terrain we can go to tools so like this terrain create terrain you can choose the dimensions I like to choose 100% because it basically it gets you that depth of field and depth of um, height much more nicer uh, and also the objects will uh, look like they uh, they are very small besides the terrain we are choosing a height map uh, for now you can choose the height map but we will add a new feature for a new terrain basically basically you can paint the hills and uh, you can carve in in uh, the hills to make like craters and i don't know water and something like this we will um, we are uh, programming this algorithm but we are basically i don't know 98 percent away to release it a texture map the texture of your terrain let's choose this grass effect uh, Note, if you want to, uh, to preview your um, terrain before you are adding it to the scene, you can choose the preview button. This window will pop up and you can fly through the actual terrain and how it looks. And if we want to choose another height map or another texture, like in this case, we can choose sand and preview. Again, the same window will pop up and with the different textures or height maps. Yeah, so let's import this kind of, sorry about Visual Studio, it's going uh, kind of nuts today. Yeah, so we we'll have we have this uh, terrain. Let's not reposition these kind of objects, let's import another object. We have a model preview that you can browse through the models and see the actual model. If you like this model, let's say you can choose import. It will import in front of your camera and we can reposition it rotate it and move it up and down let's say we want to create a mask in my case i know the names of the actual objects so i can easily import them a basic mask so this is the base let's choose like this but with the rotation like this so again if the line is straight then the origin is or at straight or 90 degrees choose that object let's choose uh, some towers some mask towers such as this again i know the uh, file names just for the this sake of this video so position that also sorry or also rotate it uh, by pressing on q and e Mm -hmm. Multiply it and move it right. Basically, let's rotate it again. It's not a pretty mask, but it works for this video. And again, tools, actors, player, start, compile. A loading pops up, and you can. Uh, Test the level that you made. You can chase. You can chase. Sorry. You can choose for MMO and FPS. Let's choose FPS for now. So we have. Um, you will have um, a standard gun, uh, but not this gun. This is a pulse rifle, but it's not. It's just for the sake for uh, for this video. In the beta release, you will have a Colt and a few weapons to spare. And uh, yeah. We can fly, fly through the level, and we also have an interesting um, mode called slow motions. You can program uh, quote unquote program in Visual Glue Graph by pressing the space key. Yeah. 
and you, uh, the time is slowing down let's go back to the editor but uh, if we go back to the editor right now an error will uh, pop up uh, some bugs must be fixed right now so let us press escape the bug will pop up and the engine uh, the engine automatically uh, recovers and restarts if an error comes up so uh, in the future the the engine will automatically load the restored map if the uh, the engine crash for some reason because uh, be, uh, after the beta release uh, there will be no bugs no major bugs to worry about uh, regarding visual glue graph uh, we are not programmed uh, this uh, main function right now but we have a basic model to show you so if we want to display the uh, an actual text on the screen we can choose uh, by right clicking in the canvas text ok and we have here basically the easiest method to uh, import text on the screen so we can type here what we want what we want choose a color let's choose yellow the size we can choose the center in the center of the screen if you don't know the actual coordinates and if and we want to appear this on um, level started event and choose compile and that's all but we are uh, again we didn't program on the actual engine uh, the scripts but in the future in a future video that I will make um, the actual functions of the glue graph will uh, work just fine in the level we have level information free uh, objects in the scene ambient level the scene name very inspired scene name as you see right here uh, you can find objects in the scene you, we will have a marketplace where we can uh, you will um, sell your models and you can buy uh, some models from our store and we you will uh, also see there games uh, for education educational purposes to learn the engine much more uh, faster in fact you can make games in this uh, particular engine in less than 10 minutes and if you will have uh, some tutorials in your hands you will be able to make games to learn to make games in this engine much more faster in the about section you can see your actual hardware sorry for the error wait again you will uh, see the, your actual hardware I am running NVIDIA and uh, um, quad-core processor type Intel and also your operating system we will do support um, for the software information just for the software information we will do support for Windows 8 the, the engine actual runs on Windows 8 very well uh, regard, regardless the frames because I am recording full HD right now um, you can uh, you, you uh, we will have support for information for windows 8 64 32 bits or 64 in the console we will uh, we are we didn't program it right now but the console will tell you every single error that appears or um, successful commands um, by fraction of the second so let's say i imported an object the actual console will tell you the position the rotation and what object you imported you can uh, choose to modify it directly from the console or from the scene of course and we will add much more useful features useful information you can access the web from the console if you want let's say if you want to download rapidly um, a model from the console you can add cutscenes sounds any type of sounds if you touch the actual sound node you, the actual sound will play you can choose for browse loop volume play once etc instant if uh, you are compiling the level the sound or the music will instantly uh, come up and play again okay you can import weapons you can choose your weapons i don't know import a model let's say 
wait a second to find find my gun path or my armory models user defined guns I don't know mp5 yeah uh, the model will pop up choose free view to point to it yeah to better look at the at the weapon you can here you can place the animations idle for back or fire and reload this will load up automatically in the engine you can choose the sounds the textures and you can finish by importing uh, the actual model in uh, in your game and after you compile the game you can choose the weapons in fact you can edit the weapon controls right here and you can choose for one two three four five let's say the mp5 will be the number two and the main weapon block let's say it will be on one fog you can create fog rain snow actual snow you can create and like basically can show you to you but let's create a terrain because it's it's too white here let's choose the texture map let's choose grass this time textures height maps render we are we i don't want to preview right now tools actors player start compile loading let's see if it uh, snows and yes it snows so let's say you have a snow texture and we you can choose to be cloudy in fact we have setting uh, setting settings for um, uh, setting the cloud mode in the scene and sky and cloud density and properties ambient light you can choose adjust the ambient light like this if we had objects in the scene let's see we can import some objects right now let's say this yeah and we are choosing our uh, uh, ambient light we can see yeah so you see that the light actual ambient light of the object is changing let's say if it's night you can choose between 0 and 5 and if it's a full daylight 100% or if you had the uh, hard shadows but if you have soft shadows you can choose like 75 or even less 40 sounds great or 35 to be more specific and for now uh, oh, and I forgot to show you the teleporter this is the main teleporter and the area that you will spawn see here let's choose fps for now the teleporter um, in beta mode uh, the teleporter works just for fps let's compile it fly through the sphere and you are on the uh, other side of the, of the of the building yeah so basically for now that's uh, oh and you can send the, the, the selected object to the printer to print it as a photo or 3d you know print 3d objects yeah that kind of stuff yeah so thank you very much for watching i will be doing another video in the near future and uh, to actually uh, actually show you the latest updates and the latest features of our engine and yeah thank you very much for watching again and have, have a nice